Turning her gaze towards the source of the noise, Gwen's heart sank as she spotted a baby coyote writhing and howling in unbearable pain on the ground. Thorns had embedded themselves deeply into its delicate skin, causing the poor creature immense suffering. Gwen's compassionate nature kicked into gear, and she knew she had to do something to help. As if by some miraculous coincidence, a team of rescuers arrived just moments later, drawn by the desperate cries of the baby coyote. They quickly assessed the situation and determined that immediate action was necessary to alleviate the cub's agony. However, to their surprise, the mother coyote remained right by her child's side, watchful yet surprisingly calm. Puzzled by this unusual circumstance, the rescuers tempered their initial ardor, cautious of the mother's presence. They understood the strong maternal instincts that drove wild animals to protect their young, and they didn't want to exacerbate the situation. The mother, however, displayed an unexpected trust in these human strangers. Approaching the suffering calf with caution, the rescuers gingerly began removing the barbs from its mouth. Despite the pain, the baby coyote made little noise, displaying remarkable patience and endurance. Its mother, ever watchful, kept her eyes fixed on her child, never intervening but never letting her guard down. Once the thorns were removed, the men carefully examined the rescued coyote, checking for any further injuries. They discovered some minor cuts and wounds, but nothing life-threatening. Gently cradling the baby coyote in their arms, they carried it towards the outskirts of Gwen's property, where the wilderness beckoned. The mother followed, her steady gaze never faltering. It was then that the rescuers realized the true depth of this extraordinary bond between a mother and her child. As they released the baby coyote back into the wild, the rescuers watched with bated breath. With a surge of newfound strength and determination, the young coyote scampered off into the distance, rejoining its waiting mother.